Hello, Survivors of the Apocalypse, Desert Rangers. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas and Playing Hardball. And the end of the DLC, Honest Hearts. Because, well, we have helped and I'm actually glad. Uh, so we help people in this canyon. The good people, the sorrows. And uh, the dead horses. To defend their home and that uh, pro is actually promising a good future for them so we've got a lot of stuff we cannot carry much more that is why we are going back to transport the stuff away I oh, will actually no 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 that's not something that we are doing right now let's go, just go here yeah, because we've got some crap anyway. So I already checked out off camera. Um, if we could sell something, but uh, uh, our friend Joshua has vanished. So he's not here anymore. And, uh, neither the Sorrows camp nor the Dead Horses camp. So he's not around. But it's very peaceful here now. Yeah, everything's nice. So, or maybe actually, maybe he actually is uh, at the other camp. That's also possible. I didn't go there. Well, we'll, we'll check it out. I want to sell some stuff. We could also just buy some more ammunition from him. And um, the point forty-five this year, the auto pistol shots. And the thing is... By the way, I'm not I'm not entirely happy with the binding ritual, but on the other hand, it's also kind of cool. Yeah. You remember we used that uh, for the uh, punching, the way of the shotgun and the spike knuckles. Now let's put this trail carbine away. And I put some stuff into uh, the yeah, this this rebar club. I mean, it gets us 478, but I also want to try um, to buy the upgrades. That was the reason why I was looking for Joshua. Um, let me just do something. Do we have enough light here so we can see something? I think so, right? Yeah, more or less. Let's wear Joshua's armor just for a moment. That's Daniel's hat, Daniel's outfit. Yeah. I like the belt. So, the dead horse's stalker armor. Yeah, that was this one. Looked also pretty good on. Waking Cloud, so here this is Joshua Graham's armor. Yeah, so it's like a police policeman, no? It's 15. Well, actually, it's way better than what we have for at eight even. Oh, ah oh, well, let's let's keep it on then. So let's put the reinforced leather armor in here then. That's actually not so bad, because that way we are saving a lot of uh, pounds. There, you go in here. And let's bring some merchandise. So we have... The white legs. Well, I want to actually, I want to put this one into our uh, collection. Oh, ah, yeah, here, but we can sell the. Ah, no, they are war clubs, okay, and they are not worth much anyway. Oh, ah, yeah, and we have these trail carbines. The shish kebab. Yeah, I guess, by the way, that uh, everything has vanished now. But yeah. Uh, so actually. Actually, I think we should only bring um, a little bit of stuff for merchant to, as merchandise uh, in case we run into him. But keep our inventory open. Yeah, there's we have one shish kebab. Yeah, that thing is super expensive. 
Hmm. Sold upon Woon's helmet. Yeah, it's pretty savage, isn't it? And his power fist. Put this one here for the moment. I want to sell the rebar club. Yeah, we are we are bringing that one. Um, and the missile can go in here. So we don't have any weapon, any weapons that could actually uh, use any missiles. That's the funny thing. We found the stuff. Here you go in here as well. The hunting, the second hunting revolver. There was, by the way, there was a really cool picture um, in the last episode when we were, or like the second last episode when we were uh, going. Oh yeah, we can we can bring. Oh, actually, the fire bombs they're actually uh, giving us a lot of money. So let's let's bring three of them. And they also don't wait so much. Uh, when we were uh, sneaking up on the White Legs encampment, um, there was this one White Leg uh, with the hunting revolver, and uh, <laughs> there was a picture basically. Uh, if you click the pause button and you look at it, I, I just checked it when I um, uh, did the thumbnails, and uh, she was sitting there and had the hunting revolver right in front of her eye. So, like, looking looking at her uh, pointing that big uh, gun at us yeah that was pretty amazing daniel's head waits one but that's actually pretty good with the speech and stuff so i think we we might even want to keep that one uh, in our ah in our uh, inventory chalk's headdress melee weapons plus five yeah Okay, and that's it. So 195. I think that's fine. The breast knuckles can go because we've got the spiked ones. Yeah. Otherwise, we didn't bring too much. Ah, yeah, here. Light and shining darkness. Ah, yeah, that's the special. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I wanna... I wanna... Uh, try that. And see if the point forty-five uh, upgrades can be used on that one as well, the pistol upgrades. But we don't have any in spare, so quick saving. So let's see, world map. So they are here, Primary's cavern. Let's go there, and then let's see. Now there shouldn't be any hostiles here, right? However, these totems are still here with tin cans. Oh, is there something here? No. Oh, is it... What's that? No, okay. Eh, uh, what? Is it blocked now? Or did we, did we need to go th uh, over here? Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, now I guess. Eh, uh, what? I think it's blocked now. Well then, let's let's wait here. I want to see this. How did could we wait? Time I are here. So it's twenty two. They don't even have uh, any beds, right? Or let's we could actually sleep here. I want to see this. Oh well, no, we are just waiting. So uh, for seven hours. Oh yeah, it's blocked now. Oh. Oh, that's a bit... What is that? Oh well. 
in this cave was it but we couldn't get through right or was it uh, was it oh I think we needed to get through the cave oh yeah I guess so huh oh yeah there's a bed by the way I want to see it there there theoretically there should be bodies around There. Let's just cram an insta mash. Can't get into that crack. So let's run around. That's the three Marys. Ah yeah, okay, no, that's fine. So now we are on the right side. So yeah, in the darkness I actually didn't realize that. Also, there's a trap that we can ah. run into. Oh, all our limbs actually uh, regenerated. The, everything was nearly at zero. But well, I'm actually, I'm going to reload now anyway, so to save the time um, of getting back. But it looks like, doesn't look like there is uh, anything here. Oh, oops. Something shot? Or oh, what was this? Ah, uh, there. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. The rigged shotgun. Disarm the rigged shotgun. Wooden crate. Ah. Ah, well, actually... Some dynamite. Very easy. There. Oh, absinthe. Have we ever seen absinthe before? Let's have the Nuka Cola. Yeah, well, why not the scotch as well, right? Okay. Some dirty water to wash your wounds. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh. Well then, I guess this uh, answers the question. Well then. Um, okay, so I, I need to be more careful, obviously. So, but I've got the merchandise, so apparently... Okay, sorry about that. It was kind of funny, though. But only because... Are the southern... Yeah, okay, no, it's fine. But only because we are able to travel back in time, right? Otherwise, it's certainly not so funny uh, to lose your legs like that. So here. And then let's have a sleep. So we can be there in the daytime. Yeah. But I have to say, like, all in all, I like this Honest Hearts DLC. However, there would have been way more potential, in my opinion. Like, for example, with romance or even some more culture with the with these people. Oh. Yeah, I think I overlooked a lot. No, okay, no, we've been here, but we couldn't carry anymore. That's the thing. Yeah, like the... I mean, we can... We can fill it up with our own fantasy, of course. Like always, like with everything. Um... But I think there would have been more potential there. I mean, they they uh, described a little bit, you know, about the the cultures that have uh, evolved here. Yeah. But uh, it could have, it, for my test, it could have been uh, deeper. Yeah. Just like a couple of lines, a couple of dialogues or something, and maybe maybe also something that something like a celebration or something I think that would have been nice actually so there's a lot of trash here okay so I'm saving now because we are now we are really uh, exploring this for real um, and 
outside of the darkness. And I'm, I'm running through here, diffusing, diffusing the uh, traps so no one is running into them. By the way, do we get experience? No, we don't. Because we still need this thing. We still need the thing with the uh, the limbs, right? There. Crippled leg. We still need the... Um, yeah, how's it called? The challenge. So what was it? There was the healing poultices. Yeah. Good. Let's drink some water, by the way. Yeah, and you know, um, I would have liked it. I mean, like to have a little bit of a romance or something, maybe with uh, here with waking clouds or someone else or something. That would have been nice, you know, to have a place to come back to. And I mean, we are basically the hero. Uh, well, let's take the banana yucca. We're basically the hero uh, of all these people now. And someone would for sure be interested in our character, right? Let's leave that stuff alone. But it's just trash. Aha. Uh -huh. Again. It, ah, okay. No, sorry. That was the wrong direction, by the way. But I like it that, uh, you know, they... Like, I guess uh, everything would look like this. Pre-war park stroller outfit. So this is also a thing that tells us, or at, me, at least me, for my personal taste, that uh, we actually sided with the with the right uh, faction here, the good people who are kind of living in some sort of harmony. Ah, oh, yeah, it was up there, huh? I totally did not see the traps here. Yeah, we don't need the ant nectar. Something, something here. Ah, it's a pressure plate. That's very nice. I didn't even see it. How do you disarm it? Ah, there. Oh, there. Okay, yeah. So there, that's funny. That's a cool trap. Where do the grenades come from? So this is a pressure plate. That's really cool. Where do the grenades come from? Well, let's uh, let's get the stuff. Ammo. It's just casings. They made a very nice trap here for people to loot. Yeah. Dynamite to go off in addition. So two grenades coming in. Okay, well, that's really interesting. Can we actually maybe take this? No. So, I mean, theoretically, we should be able to throw something, right? Can we take anything here? 
No. Okay. I wanna throw something on the pressure plate. Let's see what happens. Is there anything down there? There was the camera. Camera is actually a kind of a rare item. Ah, well, let's put it into our inventory. I thought we could keep it in our hands or something. But then, uh, then it just slipped into the water. And then the big question is, can the two grenades that come rolling there, and I don't even know where they come from, Could we pick them up? There. Yeah. Okay, so uh, there was activate. There was an activate thing. I want to do this again. But I think we can't take the uh, activate grenade bouquet. Oh yeah, okay. Oh wow. So that's like, what is a what is a grenade bouquet? Oh, that's really interesting. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry. There they come. Okay. Well, I think I'm I'm. Uh, it's just fooling around here. So I think we can't do anything. No, it's B, oh, and they have a really long uh, uh, destruction range. So let's actually do this and run away. Oh, wow. That is an incredible uh, explosion range. Wow, well, I'm glad that we defused this uh, trap now. Okay. Would have been even nicer to disarm the trap. Let's drink some water. And I really wonder if, um, if the guys are there in the canyon. I mean, theoretically, they would, uh, they would probably uh, help bringing things in order again, no? Huh? So let's eat the banana yucca. Do we actually have anything? No, well, then let's eat one gecko steak. There you go. While we explore further, there's another bear trap there. Making sure that no one runs into it. Just like that. And I really smelled it that there, that there were uh, bear traps or something in the water. But it looks like we got really lucky there. The way we approached through the night. So here we are. Ah, I think, yeah. I think Joshua is up there, okay. So here. Oh no, it's a tent. Okay, no, it's not Joshua. It's a tent. Thunder root up here. Uh, 
Uh, but otherwise, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Okay, let's not break our legs. Like this. And then we go up there and check out what's going on here. Ah, yeah, they. Oh yeah, well, we already checked that. That's a milk bottle. And by the way, can we actually drink the milk? I don't think so, right? The milk? No. Okay, it's just a miscellaneous item. Yeah. Or even... But I think it's it's not for crafting. Not sure, Val. Is there something here? No. Well, and by the way, uh, there were still these these tra uh, travelers uh, bags. I think we didn't find all of them. There wasn't an achievement yet, huh? But I have to admit, to speak of role playing for a second, uh, I'm not the kind of player who enjoys it very much to really run around for a very long time um just to find some stuff that uh, that's you know that's been hidden somewhere i like to explore but uh, only you know like within the story if you are in an area anyway basically yeah but just running around so it shouldn't a game shouldn't be a walking simulator in my opinion or oh, the mentat no. Or if I were to play a walking uh, simulator, then I would get that. Ah, well, let's set this here. Let's eat the stuff. We need uh, we need some more HP anyway. And we need to drink a bit more water because we want to be the camel of the wastelands. That's also an achievement. Uh, what did I just what did I just pick up? Was it another banana yucca? Well, uh, whatever. So. Oh yeah, and here can we do something? No, nothing that's interesting at the moment what was this uh, it doesn't look like Joshua is still here which would be kind of sad because then we actually we don't have a source for the point forty-five ammo unless the uh, the other traders uh, in the game outside of this DLC are suddenly having all the stuff and I'm really wondering um, ah yeah, there's another white legs outfit yeah let's take that one for the moment I wonder actually um, if the upgrades fit if we can modify uh, this weapon here I mean it should be possible here light and shining darkness it's this one because it's an auto and the mod X button is there so it should work and if this this gun here I think it's the one that uh, Joshua used yeah fairly certain of that a light and shining in darkness but I and by the way I really felt uh, that Joshua was was super dark there and so far I really feel good uh, about the solution Um that we were actually able to talk him down a bit. And I didn't like the dehumanization there. You know, him talking and saying, ah, oh, this thing, this thing needs to be destroyed and killed. That was certainly not the right thing, not even to think. Yeah, despite all the anger. And that's how they would lose their own humanity in the midterm. So where is it? 
Where actually, where was the showdown here? Oh, it's way further in. Okay, actually. Well then, so up, but up here there's nothing. No. Picking the banana yucca. Yeah. Well, there are no bodies here. Some burnt trees. Falling rocks. Oh. Where is it? Healing poultice. Restore limp condition. Well, actually, we should probably make one or two or five. There was a campfire there, right? Let's make. Let's do that before we run out of them. We do have the ingredients, but I also want to recheck them. Just a second. The toaster, and some scrap and stuff. Yeah, I should have thought about that before. Oh, the cave fungus, actually. And the Nevada agar fruit, okay. So let's, we can only make one. We have only one cave fungus. Which is actually a good reason to come back here from, uh, come back here from time to time. Um, to pick some flowers some vegetables and mushrooms. So let's not fall down here. And by the way, now everything is fine, right? Yeah. So there was one encampment up there here the log i think we found that one right or did we oh yeah yeah let's take the the armor out of there so the good news is that this stuff uh, doesn't seem to vanish anywhere but i during the night battle i didn't feel like micromanaging this like put it, taking out uh, the equipment from the bodies and then, yeah, the bodies are not here anymore. Ah, but here there is someone, Red Horse Docker. Hey, hello, how are you doing? Um, oh, is there something here? No. Oh, we can go through, but this is all we can see there. I'm not sure if we've been up there or how we would even get there, like from behind there maybe. Well, this doesn't look like... There's another guy. Let's do some free climbing. Yeah, so these guys had a different level of uh, civilization looking at the stuff and how they lived. So that's really uh, way nicer uh, with the dead horses. They also don't drink any fire water. 
Okay, well then, so there's nothing there. Just someone playing with the typewriter. Or praying to it or something. And I guess they they have an ambush going on or something. Okay. That's not even a crate. Okay, well, it's a bit sad. Uh, oh, what's this? Okay, no, there's nothing here. Just trash in the water. So the water is actually not so clean here. With all the trash in there. Ah. Ah. A locked suitcase in difficulty hard. And we can do that, of course, thanks to our... Yeah. Doesn't matter. We have so many bobby pins. There. There. Okay. Bottle caps, police baton, pre-war money. Well, and otherwise, nothing really interesting. Um, oh well, there are bodies here. These are, but these are only the two guys. But they have a mantis gauntlet. That is actually not so bad. Oh, a white horse nettle. That's good. The true anti venom. That's also good. Ah, uh, take the stuff. Cause it's worth money, but it looks like, yeah, Joshua is gone. And this was where the the final stand was happening. Why, why is the duct tape on the grill? That's what I wonder. Ah, but here there is something here. Finance clipboard. Were we actually able to root this? I don't think so. Mud fruit. Oh, yeah, the tobacco chew. Gotta take the maze with us. Oh, yeah, and the bitter drink, of course. Buffalo gourd seed, yeah. So actually nothing mind blowing, but well, given the fact that these guys here yeah, are indeed kind of savages, uh, it was quite doubtful that they would have anything worthwhile. Okay then, so that's that. I'm not sure if it's actually possible to get up there. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Maybe from here. Well, let's check it out. But uh, from there... No, it's not possible to get up there. No, I think that's it. Okay, well then. Sunset says Barilla. Hey there. Yeah, okay. How you doing? Everything good? Yeah, all right. Have a nice day, ma'am. Yeah, so I think check that all and it's also not really possible I think to jump over there or something no surely not oh well actually maybe from up there down here let's see and I think it's possible to get over there somehow although probably not even that but let's see a 
like from behind here. That actually doesn't look so bad. Hello there, friend. Everything okay? So like not through this crack, but around here. There. There. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, okay, the textures are a catastrophe over here. Yes, we can go through. Oh, nice, okay, but it looks like this is, this was just, you know, for flavor or something. Made from, made from a flag, though, American flag. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing up here, huh? You go there, that looks too steep to traverse, yeah. Can jump up there. Nothing there, okay. No. Just for flavor that, you know. There's nothing here, it's just the tents. So people think that there's more going on here. Okay, and that's that. Okay, well, but we checked it out. No secrets here. No further secrets. One tent is up there, but I think... Well... Is that unreachable? Let's, let's go on this rock. Oh, what's that? Look at this. Horrible. Then. Yeah, I think there's nothing there. Huh? No, it's just for flavor. Okay. All right then, so. I think we can rightly say that we explored at least this part here very thoroughly. Um, which means looking at our stuff, yeah, 250. That gives us some room in case we find something else. So let's actually, let's go to the Southern Passage and then we go out of, get a, uh, away from here. It's a bit sad. So we, I should have bought the stuff before. But I mean, the pistol is uh, is not mind blowing anyway. But we are going to use it. Bonus crit chance and quite valuable. And then that's fine. So all right then. So saving and then. That's exactly 10. So the tomahawks are really worthwhile. So let's actually maybe, I'm not sure if in this in this container, oh, we actually we can repair the stuff. So let's take everything. So there are 68, and then we are just repairing the apparel anyway. So we've got this stuff in very nice condition. White legs outfit. There. And then we have, we are at 258. So we're going to put, um, one version of every, uh, apparel departing paradise. We are putting one version of every um, apparel uh, into our stash. 
sell the rest. Well, it is a nice day here in the wastelands. The sun is killing me. So now we are up there. Actually, it's a good thing as a location for quick travel. So then from there we can actually go down here. That's the Crimson Company. Okay, that's where we want to go. However, let's go back firstly to Good Springs. We sell some stuff. Then we can also check out um, if our good friend, the uh, the trader there, uh, sells some new stuff here. By the way, let's put the business wear on. Like, or did we have anything? We had a barter thing right here. This one, the rover trading hat. Did anything else? Was it for bartering? No, I don't think so, right? Yeah. General Store, we know that he's always sleeping. Ah, yeah, you are still awake. That should keep the powder gamers away. Yeah, we know. That's a good thing, right? Indeed, we are here for that, my friend. So, do you have... Oh, yeah, and he has the auto stuff now, okay? But he doesn't have the upgrades. But that's actually good to know, so... What else does he have? Boxing gloves. Only inflicts fatigue damage. I wonder how, how that is of any interest. Hunting revolver, six shot cylinder. That's actually interesting. I think we are buying that. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, uh, how much caps does he have? Yeah, well. So let's sell him. The white legs are more. Three of them. So we sell two. And the tomahawks, all no, 11 of them. One of it, one tomahawk goes into our stash like that. He's got lots of caps. That's actually pretty good for us. Not sure about the scripture, what that is about. I hear the rebar club. Um, I'm not sure though if we have that in our collection or not, so I'm not selling it yet. Alright, here's the Mantis Gauntlet. Well, let's repair it first. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff that's really worthwhile. Yeah, let's sell here this. The fire bombs. They are. They are very valuable. And we are going to do a fashion show once we have a female companion. Uh, because I have to admit that I'm sorry that I couldn't share that uh, when I was fooling around a bit off camera to try out some stuff. I put the uh, this Desert Ranger arm or the cool one we got. We have one set already, um, but it's damaged and uh, needs repair. And it's also super heavy, um, which is why we are not using it, of course. Um, but it looks pretty cool on a woman actually yeah and then we are going to make a big fashion show uh, and i'm collecting all the stuff so let's Thanks. do like this Take it easy. goodbye 
and then let us check something so our weapons our hunting revolver is not modified we don't have anything to modify it so actually you buy some supplies yes you have this and very interesting thing for the uh, for the hunting revolver Hunting revolver, six shot cylinder, increases ammunition capacity plus one. It's kind of expensive though, however, I think... Now that the hunting revolver is actually our only weapon that has a real scope and seems to be able to really shoot long... long range shots, let's get that one directly, right? It's very expensive. I'm not a friend of selling... Uh, of, uh, of spending so much money all at once, but yeah... That's just the thing that we do right these days, right? So yeah. Yeah, and otherwise I think we're holding on to everything else first. But we are going to make a few caravan uh caravan goes. Yeah. Uh, we have actually we have some more fire bombs, so we can actually sell this here. I have the frag grenade. That's fine. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea to sell the mantis gauntlets. So I think it's fine. Um The cave mushrooms, yeah. The cave mushrooms are actually also a, a really good thing to sell. Surprisingly, we can just pick them. They are so common. So, okay. I got the train mix. I got here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's, let's do it like this. Pleasure Gets a lot of money. Take it easy now. Thanks for the business. Uh, where do we need to go here? Going over there. The night is kind of creepy. Are we on the right way to our hut? Yeah, we are, right? Victor's shack. We can't quick travel here on the local map, though. We always need to run over there. But it's fine. So, and that's actually, yeah, I enjoyed what's there. Monsters. Oh! Young Big Horner, are you. Oh! Okay, well, then now we can try out this weapon. Crit it. Ah, yeah, there. Well, seems to have a very high crit chance, this pistol. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, and now, our... Oh, it's very dark in here. I wish we, we had some more light. This is our ammunition box. Yeah, and that is... No, that's our apparel, right? Yeah, this is the combat armor. Oh, no! The Desert Ranger. So, it's actually... It is a different... It's a different armor that we have there. Very nice. I think so. Oh yeah, no, the thing that we have is the NCR the NCR Ranger Patrol armor. It's not the Desert Ranger thing. Because it looks like the um like on the uh like the general official thumbnail, you know, of Fallout New Vegas. But I'll show you. So let's put this auto submachine gun away. No, well, we have not tried it out yet, uh, so, but here, this one, we put this pistol away, it doesn't wait much, I like it, but it's fine, put it away, we t keep the 10, gosh, 12.7 millimeter pistol, uh, what am I doing, sorry, this is the wrong, sorry, 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 this is the wrong, uh, this is the wrong container. 
Here go all the different... things that we can wear. Yeah, the Sorrow's Adorned Outfit. And I think that's the one that uh, Waking Cloud is actually wearing. She's Embrace, yeah. That's the... Salt upon wounds helmet. Yeah, actually, I mean the the light is really bad here. If only the light weren't so bad. Ah oh, well, guys, I think we need. I think we just sleep a moment. I don't like this, the bad, the bad light at the moment, so sleep, yeah, don't really need to sleep. Oh, by the way, do we even have a bed here? We can sit on the couch. Oh no, there is a bed here, okay, let's sleep here. Let's say for five hours. And then there's no change because it's still in the middle of the night. So two more, five o'clock in the morning. And then the sun is already rising a bit, is it? No, not much. So and another hour, my goodness. So and that's better, right? So and this is how we look. This is our atoned business wear. <sighs> so and then... Sold up on Wound's helmet. Yeah, pretty savage. Not our style. Then the dead horse is stalker armor. That's this stuff, yeah. And that's already everything. So let's wear this here. That's good. The rest goes in there. Dead Horse Stalker Armor. Yeah. So, and you guys know what? Uh, I'm actually going to do this, uh, the rest here off camera. Um, and what I'm going to do is just quick traveling back and forth to the canyon. I'm getting the stuff from our stash there, out of there. Um, roving Trader, yeah. And then I'm just filling up here. Uh, our our little stash yeah because I'm not sure I mean please write it down in the comment section if you would like to see this and just witness it basically uh, but I don't feel that there are too many people interested in it anyway and so far I didn't I haven't received any uh, positive feedback there that you are interested in this although it's of course part of the gameplay or at least the way I personally play the game. Um, yeah. But it's also probably... Also I, I would think that it's not uh, that entertaining. Um, although it's, of course, interesting to see what kind of um, equipment they have. Yeah. But uh, obviously that's not necessarily interesting for everybody so let's put it like this 50 shots roughly then we've got these pistols they are extremely valuable with these basically rifle rounds let's just check this out again so we tried the pistol it's a real big one and I actually I like it a lot. It's actually pretty cool. Looks kind of like a Blade Runner pistol in a way. But the ammo is of course very expensive. And by the way, do we need to repair it? Yeah, let's do that. 
doesn't dps is 104 by the way and here oh wow yeah it's roughly well not really double but significantly more okay yeah but let's put it away and this is just how i do it yeah checking the stuff out i oh, have yeah, the grenade okay the light shining in darkness that's a really good pistol or maybe we should actually use it for a while yeah damage dps 167 yeah because we kind of we've outlived the 10 millimeter pistol anyway so although we keep this one around only to repair the other one our weathered one so then Jensen's knife we keep the cowboy repeater we also keep dynamite goes in here We didn't bring the kebab thing here, the, the burning. So here, oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the gun runner's arsenal. It's also DLC. Hunting rifle, hunting shotgun. So I really like the shotguns. Um, and I feel, yeah, the damage is way higher. So I feel, despite the long range, I feel that we have outlived the hunting rifle as well. It has served us right and nice. I'm putting it in here now. Hunting rifle. Okay, we have a number of them. But that's fine, so. Laser pistol. So then the mantis gauntlet. Yeah, let's put it in there. I'm not repairing them right now. The rebar club. Then, by the way, did we have a rebar? Or what did the blue mutants use? Oh yeah, they had the rebar clubs. Yeah, that's why they are kind of common. Okay, well then, under these circumstances, we're actually selling them, I think. We just keep one here. In very good condition in case and maybe maybe like so huh and uh, another one in pretty okay condition let's do that and then we are selling it because the guy has a lot of money right now spike knuckles that gun we keep throwing spear yeah we only have one that's fine and the tomahawk just so that we know that it exists. And there we go. And that's that. And now I'm going to sell it, by the way. And for that, I, we need the, the trader hat. But I'm doing that off camera. So thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, well, the last thing that we can indeed do is actually upgrade. The hunting revolver. Did you find this here? Hä? Huh? Where is it? What happened? The hunting revolver, six shot cylinder. Why can't we do it? Why doesn't it show? I think we've got another bug. Um, tja. That's a bit sad. Oh. Did I just throw it away and it, uh, it vanishes or what? No, here it is, okay. And left click. 
nothing happens. Okay, well, I think that's another bug there. That's a bit sad because we just paid 1,500 for it, but whatever. So, this is us now. And this is where the episode ends. Thanks for watching. This uh, armor is actually a very nice um, upgrade on our reinforced leather armor. But of course we will continue to try and build the Gecko Hide reinforced armor. And that should be even better then. Uh, let's see. However, the, the big advantage with this one is that it doesn't wait too much. Only eight. And that's actually not so bad. That is not so bad indeed. And it has a very high damage threshold. So, that's the thing. Alright then. So, thanks for watching guys. We have completed Honest Hearts. We have really... Uh, checked out everything there. Where are our authority glasses there, right? So, like this. Now we look like a cop actually yeah kind of okay then so if you have any thoughts any tips and tricks you wish to share please do so in the comment section you know you're always welcome to do so um and yeah let's continue next time oh by the way we have some form of crocodile boots crocodile skin boots or something <laughs> or snakes snake skin boots or something yeah like a texas ranger or something hmm what is it actually saying? SLCPA or something? SWAT. Yep, it's a SWAT. It's a SWAT uh, Kevlar vest, I guess. Well, so that's certainly cool. Yeah, and then we are continuing next time. And the next episode, I think I will have transported everything of value out of the uh, Zion Canyon. Um, just in the good tradition of the Happy Trails. Uh, and yeah, then we'll see. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.